So you may remember this one coming to me about five months ago. It was a full race car, race spec car, roll cage in it, a lot of work done to it, and the owner, after a little bit of deliberation, decided that they wanted to convert it back to a standard GDR, which was a lot of work because there was 112 holes inside here, including the engine bay, uh, and the body needed some work, needed to be resprayed, basically, which has just happened. So I've got the parts for the car all here, the remaining parts that need to go back into it, which is a lot of stainless stuff, interior trim, uh, just bits and pieces that need to be finalised. So that's going to happen today. I'm going to start putting this car back together. I think it's going to be around about two to three days worth of work on the car. Putting your stainless trims on. Um, the interior is all done, so I just need to start putting everything back in together uh, internally just for the heater assemblies. And then I'm going to reassemble the doors as well because the internals aren't in there at the moment. And pull your, your stainless trims on around here. Once all that's done, this goes back to the customer and they will put their running gear in it and drive it. It's all done bar that. This used to be a full race car. The engine bay, as you can see, has been redone. Heater box refurbished, wipe motor done big nut master cylinder back on. So there's a fair bit in here that's taken place, plus it was resprayed as well. So um, it needed to be done because it was just in a situation where if you convert it back to a Nojo GDR, you want to try and make it look as much of a GDR as possible. But it has come up really, really well. Those tires are going, uh, they're semi-slicks, and I've got to put the mirror on and get all these rubbers. You know, you start having a look at that now, that, is how an LJ GDR should present after it's been a worthy restorations. Okay, so I'm assembling the doors today. Uh, I do get a lot of questions asked about how do these things go back together. Uh, this one's got its Bailey channel already in. Uh, previous owner, sorry, the owner tried to attempt to put this together, but he wasn't working out for me. And ironically, that's why he called me because he's like, how the hell does this go back together? And, and it went from being a race car to what you see now. So uh, just doing this final door assembly, there's a fair bit to do on both doors and to get these rubbers to line up and to get these quarter windows to work properly as well. So uh, luckily this one's got an interior uh, felt strip in. These are really hard to get in, but still the other one's just gonna be as hard, which is your outer door belt rubber. So I'm going to attempt to put these through uh, now and I'm also going to try and do this quarter window as well and with the quarter window the rubbers need to sit in a channel here that's currently not on a channel and once I put it into a channel you'll get an idea you'll actually see if you push it down hard enough you see it start to go over the lip of the actual door frame itself and that's, that needs to happen the whole way across and then obviously needs to have it all the way up here. And a hot tip for you if you're installing this is to cut a small hole there for these new rubbers because they're all blanked off. Because it needs to go over here. And if it doesn't go over here, it's going to push it out and it's going to look terrible. So um, I'm going to crack on with these now and see how we go. So this is the window fixture for your quarter window. And actually needs to go in here. And there's a hole that I've pre-cut through the rubber and it will go into a mounting bracket in here, which will fit that size hole. And you need to make sure that you've adjusted these out correctly. So they actually go in and it slots in like that. And that's only, only once you've got it in the right spot and you'll know when you've got it in the right spot, can you then 
fit your quarter window. So that's currently set up for me to fit the quarter window and I'll need to turn this around. A bit like that. Pop the quarter window on, which I'll do now. This isn't the easy part. You need to have your window rubbers in the correct side. Your outer belts. And you need your clips. The clips were missing on this one, but luckily I've got a spare set. In fact, they're missing on all of them, but I do have a set of clips here that I can use. So I'll be using those. And what I do is I'll grab these clips and I'll actually widen them just a little bit and put a little dob of glue on them because you can actually see the spots where they're meant to go. They've marked them out. There's four areas here where these clips need to be sitting on. And they pop in here, here, and here, but if you wide them out a little bit, it gives you a little bit more room to actually pop it onto the lip inside the car. I'm going to have a look at the lip. You'll see that's the lip just in there, just underneath that. That's what they clip onto. But you need a specific tool that pulls the rubber up and pulls the clip up at the same time. Not an easy job together I've just got to put the rubber on now and this one will be finished as well your visors are in all your uh, heater stuff heater controls are all done engine bay sorted got your um, washer bottle in all your nozzles all your doors have been assembled all your rubbers are on new one of those as well Seems good to go. Ooh. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. There's plenty more videos like this on the way.